So you know me, I love me some hecklers sometimes. I love me some hecklers. Look, he's mad. Heckler had LeBron James heated. If you from where I'm from, the up north and really Rhode Island, when you roasting somebody and you in an argument with somebody, there's only one way that you really gonna get shot. Don't play with me. There's only one way to get me mad. You arguing, he's heated. Nah, look at yo, come and take a look at this nigga. He's really heated right now. He's mad. Let it out, big fella. Heated. That is the city where I come, come, come from. And it looks like he might have been trolled. It might have been a Rhode Islander on vacation in, in Los Angeles. Let's see if a Rhode Islander got his hands on LeBron James and hit him with the heckles. Fuck! Hey, Brian, you better get this to get Oh, man, he's shit. Not <laughs> Look, he's mad. Look at him. You hey, sick. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Run! LeBron! Ron Brown was not feeling it. Brian came outside. That shit look crazy seeing Brian on the jersey. I always say every time I see Big Man. LeBron! LeBron! Don't touch that man. Don't you touch him! Touching royalty with them peasant fingers. Yo, and you're, bu you're bugging out. A man's dad heated. That's like you in a section. You see your hands about to be thrown and you out here. He rubbed on his back caressively, like softly, like, Bron! Bron! Hopefully he think you a join and don't turn around and do some wild shit. But, bro, let me tell you if I'm anything in the future. You ever see two men about to pull out and say, get it on? That shit sound crazy. You see two men about to get it on. You touching. Hey, yo. But <laughs> you see shit get into that level. The last thing you should do is be asking for autographs and pictures and all that shit. Quick thing, I'm not speaking because I haven't spoke about this situation, but when I was at Art Basel and Griselda was there, I was like shoulder to shoulder outside the venue with Conway and them niggas. But some shit popped off in Miami. I'm not going to talk too much about it right now, but some shit popped off in Miami at Skatebird. Hopefully, West, uh, West Side never talked about it. None of these dudes ever talked about it. I stay quiet. I'm like, yo, I, what am I? I don't really need clout from shit like that. But fist to cuff hands almost got thrown between the griselda camp and some local miami niggas and this i was in between the shit i was standing in the middle got the miami dudes to the left of me wilding out inside the function you got conway that's one of the stars out in the middle of the block right outside skatebird 305 if y'all know what i'm talking about in miami right outside the block outside this nigga had like an rv with him they had some crazy shit right outside of that shit it was him uh, Marnie Caesar, when the shit got a little hectic, she went back inside a function. I don't know what the beef was about. My mans, shout out to Otis if you are here right now, you ever get to watch this. Wild boy. Wild boy, because I'm walking with this nigga. You already see me. I'm tensed up. I'm seeing homie tensed. I'm seeing some Miami niggas to the left of me tensed. We walking in between this shit. My nigga Otis, look at, <laughs> look at Conway. Conway there. Crazy face. Looking at these niggas like Two-Face from Batman and shit. My nigga really be like, yo, yo, big fella, yo, what's good, bro? Conway, look at this nigga real quick. Still go back, give him a head nod, go back to the function. My nigga woke up to this nigga. Give him a little fist bump and keep it moving. He's like, yo, you bugging. You should have be bugging, nigga. I understand a situation. A situation like that, you not asking for a high five. He don't even know who's who. You lucky he gave you a fist bump and got back to his structure. But you don't know if you, you from out here. He don't know if you with them. You get me? So... Shit always moving crazy. If you guys can take one lesson from me is stitch your groupie ass back and just avoid it. I'm trying to avoid serious bodily injury to people that I love. Westbrook. Westbrook, the, the, the veteran at attacking or arguing with fans rather. Westbrook, say. I love you, bro. That's the best. My nigga Westbrook, I think. Westbrook, Westbrook, I love you. Call him Westbrook. We'll get a viral video today. Nah, LeBron couldn't be that mad. Very seen airline. <laughs> Look, he's mad. Look at him. You hey, sick. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> LeBron! LeBron! Play, play in LA like that. They would have kicked ass out that stadium. Look at, look at the little old lady standing up. Hey! Talk to LeBron James like that, boy. Yeah, that ain't the right city to be playing LeBron James. Talking about receding and hairline. I gotta know what game this was. This couldn't be. What game is this in the description? These niggas won or lost? LeBron James, I don't even say it. I hope they won, because that, that, that shit would have got me even more tight. You fuck around and lose. You got a fan heckling you, talking about your hairline. You down by 22. Because it wasn't that crazy. Hey, Brian, you better get this That's what got him mad. Because he didn't even say nothing about the hairline. Brian, stop. I always tell you guys, fans are kind of weird today, bro. Why I always even get paranoid again? Well, I'm nowhere near these. I'm not even nowhere to even talk about something. I'm just saying from observing their situations is... Back in the day, fans would come up to you and be like, oh my god, I'm your biggest fan, I love you so much, oh, I'm a fanatic. Today, 
They know that don't work. So you know what's the way that your biggest fan is going to get you to reply? They're going to know what hurts you and just attack. Roast your ass. Troll you. See you in the street. Smack the shit out the back of your head just to get a reaction. Just to go viral with you. Because they know that that I'm your biggest fan shit ain't working no more. That Celebrities keep it moving. Celebrities hear that shit every single day. I bet you going to act bougie when I say I'm your biggest fan? Your mother, nigga. Are we booming over here? Whack as hell. You ain't Kobe Bryant. You ain't They just start saying shit to you like that. Or left. You're like, whoa, where this go? I thought you said you was cool. Why you at the game? You wearing a LeBron jersey. A fan will heckle you. Say they hate you wearing your merch. Wearing your LeBron jersey. He got the on court one. You know he paid extra. Like, nigga, you paid all that and got court. Got the floor seats to hate. Come on, my brother. You just, you wilding right now. You wilding. You got to get your priorities together. You should have used that shit to go to stand-up comedy. Use that shit to go somewhere else with this. That receipt in the airline. <laughs> Look at Matt. Look at that little man holding yeah. LeBron back. Yeah. LeBron! LeBron! And this hoe just sound crazy too. Just too much groupiness going on in one room. That shit crazy though. That shit crazy. I could I could see if you lose in the game of fan gets.